I've been a part of the Flotilla Coalition since 2010 and was on the, the uh, Flotilla group that was attacked by the Israeli military and nine people killed, another person injured and subsequently died. And over 50 people were wounded by the Israeli commandos. So since then, we've been sailing. In 2011, we had 10 boats that were in, in Athens, Greece, ready to go. And then the Israeli government paid off the Greek government to stop us from leaving. Later on that year, two of those boats escaped Greek hands, went to Turkey, and then did sail. And... Uh, uh, were stopped as uh, all of these boats since 2008 have stopped. There have been 35 boats that we have now sailed to try to break that Israeli blockade. We say try to break it, but we know what's going to happen. The Israeli military spends millions of dollars to go out and have ships, submarines, helicopters, you name it, and they're out on the seas waiting for these boats to come in. And... Uh, it gets some publicity, and that's the main thing, that we are trying to have community events along the way where the boat sails. And we thank you all right here in Liverpool for organizing this event and the one tonight as a means to add to all of the things that you all are doing all the time in solidarity with Palestine. So it's it's this this voyage that we'll be taking this one we're calling the Northern European summer trip, because this year we're, we're trying to use the boat two years. You know, some of the criticisms that we have had as the flotilla is that you get a boat or boats. In 2018, we actually had four boats, um, a motor vessel like this one and three sailboats. Uh, and they say you, you go and sit one summer and that's all, and it's a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. The fundraising that we have to do with the 10 national campaigns that make up the Flotilla Coalition are all doing fundraisers in their home areas uh, to contribute to the purchase of a boat, for the purchase of the fuel, all the things that go along with, with running a boat, and, of course, all the volunteers that it takes to run them. And, in fact... You, if you look behind us, you'll see some weather, rather wet, bedraggled people that have just come in. Can please stand up, all of you all that have been out working to uh, get the fuel redone, uh, uh, fuel put in. And Clive, uh, Clive is going to be our next next captain on the way to, we don't know where yet, <laughs> either Waterford, Cardiff, and uh uh, he and Eric arrived last night, place of your own Liverpool person, Captain Lee, who we are so thrilled uh, saved our bacon in Scotland, where the boat was stranded because of a okay. Uh, was stranded because of a, a bridge that kind of broke. So we thank Liverpool for many things, uh, hosting us here, but also for providing us with a, uh, a wonderful captain that has really helped us out a lot. <laughs>